Okay, now that I've done a manual test and I've checked to see that I can get 25 and 50 pascals in the building and I'm on the right range and I've got the right fan showing in the display. In this case it's a DU200 and the range must be right because I believe the software will read that stuff directly. So I come over here and I say find connected gauges. I'll just check the serial number of the gauge I have which is 200890 and that's the one it's found, which is good. We can put in the serial number of the fan. It's not necessary, but uh, if you want to record that, you can. And fill in the uh, elevations and so forth. Uh, height of building above ground, 25 feet, enclosure volume, and floor area. I'm just throwing in some numbers here so we'll get a result. And put in the average wind speed, which is about five miles an hour. It's coming from the west. And you'll notice it's automatically brought the time in. So all the stuff is uh, filled out. I put my name in here. I put the address of the building in here. Uh, west Second Avenue. And building description, we'll say it's an apartment. Okay, so that's all done. I can do this afterwards if I want to, I don't have to do it now. And then I simply come over here and press auto test. Now I just want to check something before I get started. Under settings, I notice that cover fans uh, before taking bias pressure readings it says yes. I'm going to change that to no so it'll go all the way through. Say OK there, and so I just say start auto test. Now it'll take a little while for the fans to turn on and various things to start happening. Uh, before the fans start, it starts taking bias pressure readings. You'll notice over here that this is the building pressure, which is going to plus two pascals or so. We can see it bouncing around over here. And here we've got the flow CFM, which of course is zero because the fans aren't running yet. These windows are showing you what's uh, going on, that it's, uh, it's collecting uh, data. It's taking the first point and uh, it just took 20 readings. So now you can hear the fans start up in the background. It's put the uh, bias pressure reading is taken into the screen box all automatically as you can see and it's starting to acquire a building pressure. Oh, I think somewhere on here it says target. There we go. It's seeking the target of 25 pascals and it's overshot a little bit. This is the target range it's looking for between here and here. So the fan speed's coming down. You can hear it. It's trying to get inside this range here. And as soon as it gets inside the range there, it'll start taking readings. Now it's probably going to undershoot a little bit. The particular fan that we're using, the DU200, is not well suited for automatic control. We're using it in this application because I've actually got it sitting in my office here and it's uh, very small and compact. Uh, our other fans do a much better job uh, in auto test. So if we'd like to take a look at the uh, pressures it's uh, recording, <clears throat> we can see that these are the bias pressure readings it's taken here. Notice they're all close to zero or slightly above, about plus two, that kind of thing. You can see it bouncing around, a little bit of wind. And these are the readings it's taking uh, for the first point. It's shooting at 25. You can see it's under. It's over. And we can narrow this range down if we want. <clears throat> so we can get rid of this or minimize it however we want. And right now it's trying to get the 27.3 Pascal reading. So I'm going to sign off just for the time being. We'll come back in a little bit later when it'll have more data points taken.